Hi everyone. Um, today I'm going to do the review of the Bondi Scorloe. Scorloe is probably my one of my favorite models of the whole series, if not my favorite. He's really very detailed, as you can see here. I'm going to open him up and show him to you. But Scorloe is another one of the narrow gauge engines um, from the Bondi Tech series. Um, if you look here, this is interesting because. The Ertl version would have looked like this happened to me on the Shining Time card. So I find that kind of interesting. And then there's nothing really on the bottom except for a book off sticker, which I'm assuming is from Japan. But let me get it open. Um, here's Scarlet over here. Let me just get him out. All right. Let's see. Here is Scarlet. Um, yeah, there we go. He's nice. Look at him. He's happy. This is good. This is good, man. He's happy. He is a clam. His model is so sleek and so nice. It's, you know, it's just reminiscent of Hornby, really. You know, it's just, looks really good. It's really, this one's a really, what's interesting is Scarloe is bigger than, I think, than the other narrow gauge engines. And it seems kind of weird to me. It just... You know, it doesn't make a lot of a lot of sense. Um, as for pricing, um, you can get Scarlet <clears throat> for about twenty bucks. I would say um, maybe like thirty. Um, some sellers I've seen sell for fifty or sixty bucks, and like I said, that's not a very good price to get it for because you know it's too much money. And also. They should have made his buffer beams a different color because I feel like these blend in too much with the with the pink here. And it kind of detracts from the whole model in a way. They should have made them black. But all right, guys, that's Bondi Tech Scarloe. Thank you.